In this video, we're going to introduce you to our ST Ethernet stepper drives and show you how to set them up. In front of me are some of the members of our popular STDC powered step motor line. All models include optically isolated I.O., anti-resonance, and electronic damping, plus a powerful, efficient amplifier. Control modes include step and direction, oscillator, streaming commands, Q programming, and SI programming. The ST drives are available with a wide variety of high torque step motors, suitable for many applications. These include our compact HT11, the HT17, HT23, and our newest HT24, which produces 30% more torque for the same stack length as a size 23, but mounts the same. Finally, for the biggest loads, the HT34 can supply up to 1700 ounce inches of torque. ST stepper drives are available with four different communication options. The ST5S and ST10S come standard with RS-232 and can be used in step direction, oscillator, and streaming command applications. Streaming commands can also be sent to as many as 32 axes over an RS-485 network by purchasing the RS-485 option on ST5Q and ST10Q models. Communication speeds are up to 115 kbits per second. The STQ and STSI models can also be ordered with an encoder interface for position monitoring, position maintenance, and stall prevention. The ST5C and ST10C include CAN Open, allowing up to 127 axes to be controlled on a single network at speeds up to 1 megabit. The newest member of the ST family is the STQ with Ethernet. This model can be connected to your office network or directly to a PC for configuration and programming. Real-time streaming commands can be sent to a nearly unlimited number of drives at speeds of 10 or 100 megabits per second. We also offer the ST models with an Ethernet IP interface designed for compatibility with popular Rockwell Allen Bradley PLCs. Okay, let's take a look at the connection points on the ST Ethernet drive. On this end of the drive is the power and motor connector. The ST5 operates from a 24 to 48 volt DC power supply, while the ST10 can accept up to 80 volts. These four terminals are where the motor connect. They can handle a 4, 6, or 8 leaded motor. Next to the power connector, we have the 25 pin D sub I.O. connector, housing eight digital inputs, four digital outputs, and two 12-bit analog inputs. Next to that, we have the red and green status LEDs, which indicate any alarm conditions, whether the motor is enabled, and whether a Q program is running. Above the status LEDs, we have the RJ45 Ethernet connector, which accepts a standard Cat5 Ethernet cable. The Ethernet jack also includes LEDs to indicate if a connection has been made and whether data is being transferred. Next to the jack is a 16 position rotary switch for setting the drive's IP address. We'll talk more about that later. In order to set up, configure, and program my ST10Q drive, I'm going to need a couple of software programs. First of all, we'll need ST Configurator in order to uh, define the motor, to uh, set up any I.O. points that we might need, end of travel limits, for example, or maybe a fault output, and also to uh, select the control mode, which in this case will be Q programming. I'm also going to need the Q programmer software so that uh, I can demonstrate how to create and store in your drive a Q program, and then we'll actually run the program and see if it does what we intended. So both of these uh, software applications can be had on the Applied Motion website. I have a browser open. I'm going to navigate to www.applied-motion.com. Here comes the Applied Motion web page. Let's go to Products, Stepper Drives, ST Series. Now this is taking us directly to the ST product page. Let me scroll down to where there's a list of specific models. I have the ST10Q-1. 
EE. And if you're never sure what drive you have, just take a look at the label on the side of the drive and it will spell it out very clearly. So let's go on down to ST10-Q-EE. Here it is. I'm going to click on that. And now I'm on a page that refers specifically to this unit uh, with the EE options. Scroll down a little further. Here's software. So for this drive, there are uh, three software packages available, um, plus uh, three pieces of sample code. So if you're going to do something like uh, host command streaming over Ethernet, these might help get you started. The top of the list, we have the Q Programmer software. So let me click on that. And that takes me to the Q Programmer page. I'll click Download Now. And I'm going to go ahead and select Run. That will install the software uh, directly on my PC. Okay, here comes Install Shield with, uh, Wizard to, uh, to do the dirty work. Okay, here we go. I'll just click Next. This may take a minute or two to uh, unpack everything and get everything where it goes in the Windows operating system. I see some progress now. Okay, almost done. Ah, very good. Complete. Okay, that takes care of Q Programmer. Now let me kick the back arrow here a little bit. And we're back to the software page again. This time, let's pick ST Configurator. That takes us to the ST Configurator page. Uh, and again, I'll select Download Now, and uh, I think you know the drill.